there, welcome to Healthy Helpings TV. My name's Michelle and this is a show that makes fast food healthy and healthy food fast. And um, this, this week we're going to be doing a uh, beef casserole. It's something for the people who are down here in the Southern Hemisphere with me. Um, it's been a cold long winter and just as you guys have had a, probably a nice warm summer but the days are getting longer here which means they're getting shorter up in the northern hemisphere and mines are turning to casseroles. Casseroles are really easy to put together. They take a few hours but they can be beautifully healthy, great for kind of reheating over the next few days and um, I'm going to show you a nice easy one that you can put together and give you some ideas kind of how to extend it out. So what I've done is I've chopped up all sorts of different veggies. I've got some um, chopped up onion. I've done all this really roughly. Some carrot, some celery and uh, some garlic which I've just really roughly crushed. I want to be able to kind of come across all these veggies, make a whole meal out of this casserole without having to add anything in because I'm going to have this for lunches for the next few days. Okay, and you also need some nice lean stewing beef. I'm using some uh, chuck steak here uh, which has all been diced up by my butcher. And I'm just going to throw in some flour onto that and just mix that around and that's going to help make a nice thick sauce. Now I've got um, enough here to make for eight serves and so I'm using uh, one and a half kilos of chuck steak or three pounds. And now you just want to make sure that the flour entirely coats that meat. And then probably you want to put on just a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Okay, so we're over at the stove and we've got a, a casserole dish here, a cast iron one that I'm able to put both on the top and in my oven. Um, otherwise you can do this in a slow cooker as well um, if you've got one of those. Or if you don't have anything you can go from one to the other. Just use a frying pan here and we'll transfer it later when we go to the oven. Now the oven needs to be preheated to 150 Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so in here I'm just going to get half a teaspoon of olive oil and we're going to do, do this in batches and we'll probably need a little bit more oil as, the, as we progress. Pop that in and then you probably want to grab about a quarter of your meat and you're just going to brown that. Now it's really important that you do this in batches because you don't want to kind of be boiling the meat or anything like that at this stage. You really just want to be sealing the edges and making sure everything goes nice and brown and that way um, you'll really get a nice rich intense flavour through your stew. Jump down. Alright so I've browned the beef in batches and I've just been removing it to this bowl. You can see it's just taken on a little bit of colour. I probably had to use about um, three quarters of a tablespoon of olive oil so far so I'm just going to put in another uh, half, a, half a tablespoon and then throw in my onions, carrots, celery and garlic. I've also got some prosciutto which I'm going to put in. Um, it's an Italian um, pork or bacon product and it's nice and smoked and um, really nice and lean. You can see that all the fat kind of is off of that. You could also use a smoke cured pork like an Italian speck or some lean bacon. I've got that in nice big chunks and that's going to go in too. Sir? Do you don't use the German spec though, because German spec, if you order that, that's just lard, so you don't want to be buying that. And we're just going to stir that round and let that brown. I like the big chunks in it. Okay, so once the onions are softened, you just want to grab yourself some um, red wine. Now make sure you use red wine that you would actually drink. This is beautiful um, Shiraz from the Barossa Valley near here in Adelaide. One of the nicest wine regions around, I say. One cup of that, and you're going to use that to deglaze your pan. So that just means poking at the bottom and getting all those bits that have started to cook onto the bottom. And um, once that's reduced down by half the liquid, we're going to add in the rest of our other liquids. Now you don't need to worry about the calories and the alcohol because what we're doing is reducing the, the stock or the, the sauce by half, and that's actually cooking off all the alcohol content in this. Thank you. 
about one cup of stock and just a little extra water as well. You could add in some tin tomatoes at this point if you wanted to. Give that a stir around and then you can throw your meat back in. So just pop your lid on, that's pretty much it. And then that goes into the oven for about two and a half hours. The meat will come out beautifully nice and tender. Now it is really important that you use something like a chuck or a special stewing beef. Don't use like a sirloin or anything like that because it'll just turn, turn out like rubber instead of beautifully tender. So that's pretty much it again for another episode of Healthy Helpings TV. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I hope you find that beautiful warming casserole, um, you know, a great alternative to taking packed lunches for the week. Um, I'll catch you next time. You can download the episode and the recipe at healthyhelpingstv.com. Don't forget to give us a thumb up, thumbs up if you're watching on a viewing network. See you later. You need the following ingredients. One half tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of flour, three pounds or one and a half kilos of chuck steak, one large onion chopped, four cloves of garlic chopped, five small carrots roughly chopped, two celery sticks roughly chopped, five ounces or 150 grams of prosciutto chopped, one cup of red wine, one cup of beef stock and half a cup of water.